have come out to the lovely Ramsey Beach. So if we just scan around and see how beautiful that is. I've come here because this lovely seaweed. jumbled mass just here and you can see how this series seems totally random and twisted around okay this is called spiral rack and this is a very clever ploy by this seaweed if I just lift up a piece here you'll see just how wet it still is on the underside and by twisting around it creates more shade and that stops it from drying out Here's another really, really common seaweed and very, very slippery. If you've ever been on the beach and you've walked over this stuff, you'll know this. So this is something called gutweed. Can you see how stringy it is, okay? Now, gutweed, if you like rock pawling, this is the sort of stuff you need to avoid because gutweed is a seaweed that doesn't mind it being less saline. That's less salt in the water, it can cope with it. And actually, if we look just up here, you can see why Okay, can you see that water running down the wall? That's fresh water runoff from the land. And so it's really almost like fresh water here. And this weed can cope with it. Have a look at this lovely seaweed here. Can you see this? And if you look, can you see there's these funny egg-shaped bumps? Okay, this is egg rack. And these egg-shaped bumps are actually air bubbles, like balloons very very clever way because when the tide's in the seaweed would be underneath water now you know when you go to the swimming pool the deep end is a darker blue looking that's because the light is getting absorbed and it's not going all the way down to the bottom so this seaweed wants to get as much light on it as it can it's just like a plant it needs to photosynthesize so those air bubbles helped it help it to float right up towards the surface of the water so what we've got here is an incredibly long piece of seaweed. You can see down here, it's got one main rib running down it. And on either side, it's almost like it's gathered in. This is really big. I'll just put my welly just beside it so you can have a good look at it. You can see how long it is. These kelp seaweeds don't grow near the shore. They grow off, further off the shore, usually below the um, low water mark. They make fantastic forests where lots and lots of um, fish hide in nurseries. So I've come right up to the high water mark now and I found this lovely, lovely seaweed called allweed. And this is fantastic. It really shows you the structure of these seaweeds. So with this long part down here, it's called the stipe. So you'd imagine it very like the, the stem of a flower, but of course it doesn't have those um, tubes running up it to transfer all the nutrient and at the bottom here it looks so so much like roots but they aren't roots they don't absorb nutrients well actually what they do is they grow around stones and things to help hold the seaweed to the seabed just like um, its name suggests it's a hold fast if you're a seaweed the worst thing that could happen to you is for the um, waves to wash you up the beach and then back down because all that's going to happen is you're going to break up into tiny pieces and if you follow this stipe all the way up you come up to what's called the blades here and you can see they're almost like fingers coming out but what's fantastic on this is if we get a little bit closer can you see that funny patterning that's a tiny little marine animal called a sea mat and we're going to take a piece of that back with us and have a little look at it. Okay so we come back into my kitchen and I brought back the seaweed with me and we were going to have another look can you remember at this bunny stuff that looks like a mesh stuck onto the to the um, blades of the oar weed which is called sea mat so we're going to have a look at that underneath the microscope. All those little tiny rectangles all contain a tiny little animal called a zooid each one is individual and when they reproduce it's almost like they're stamping out 
the exact image of themselves. So, we've talked about the seaweed, and we said most of our seaweeds are brown. They still have chlorophyll in them, that little work engine that takes the sunlight and converts it. Algae is fantastic at making oxygen. Everyone always thinks trees fantastic, but actually a lot of oxygen comes from algae, from seeds, algae in, in the sea, and it could be phytoplankton, it could be these bigger algae, okay? So it's really, really incredibly important stuff to us.